Hi, what's your name? Uh, Matthew Johnson. And what have you been up to since the shelter in place? So, uh, you know, one of the things that's been interesting about this is I feel like every person I talk to has had a wildly different experience. Uh, I've got a number of friends who are like, I don't, you know, I have all this time, so I'm like learning a new language or I'm learning the net. And for me, it's the opposite. Uh, I have a 11 month old and a four year old and I am their primary caretaker uh, Monday through Friday uh, from, you know, 8.30 to 5. Uh, which means that anything else, including my normal job, uh, uh, is all on the evenings and weekends. So it's been a pretty busy time, but it's been really lovely to hang out with them. I mean, it's it, not too often you get to spend this much time with your kids, which has been really fun. What have you been doing while, while you spend time with your kids? Uh, so I'm sort of trying to replicate my daughter's school as best I can. So we have, she has, she makes a plan in the morning and we do a lot of reading, a lot of block, you know, building like a Legos and blocks and things like that. A lot of painting, uh, a lot of gardening. Uh, and then we have small group time with the, the, her and the baby, which we do things like trace letters and sink or float, which is like science for four-year-olds where you like, you know, predict whether something's going to sink or float in a bowl of water. Um, and so, you know, kind of been replicating that. And then on Friday, she's normally with her grandparents. And so we have special grandparent day. We're, we're not with the grandparents because uh, it wouldn't be good to see them. Uh, but uh, we replicate the day. So they usually go to story time at the library. So we create a new story time each week. We have grilled cheeses, which they always go get from Village Kitchen. So, you know, it's been lovely. Uh, How are your kids handling being at home all day? Um, I think for the, the 11 month old, he doesn't know anybody. <laughs> he's, just, you know, he's just, uh, he's just hanging out. Um, my daughter at first for the first month really loved it. She loved, she's like, I hope this germ sticks around. She's like, I hope this germy sticks around so that mommy and daddy can stay home every day. But I think she's really starting to miss her friends now. Um, I think she's starting to recognize. So she's been really upset about all the, uh, quote, grown up talk that has been happening. Uh, because I think she's not getting kid talk, right? She's not having little kids to play with and talk to outside of on zoom and, and four-year-olds just don't understand computer zoom calls it doesn't make any sense so uh so you know it's hard but i think that you know we're just trying to sort of you know give as much love and attention as possible and replicate the uh normal schedule as much as possible and i think you know that that's hopefully uh softening it what sorts of hopes do you have about the future maybe after uh shelter in place is no longer a thing um, you know, I, I think, uh, I mean, for me, I'm just really looking forward to seeing other human beings. We're not really meant to be away from other human beings. Uh, and maybe, uh, you know, I mean, there's not a lot of silver linings, it's pretty, pretty tough out there right now, but there are, I mean, there was always things to learn and things that, you know, and, and for me, it's going to be like, don't take for granted human interaction. Um, and, and so I hope that maybe we'll have more of that as, as a whole society too. We'll, we'll like recognize like how special this is and how we, it's okay to put work away sometimes. And it's okay to, to, uh, you know, like kind of not be perfect in every way that American society sometimes tells us we should be. And instead like just sit there and appreciate each other's company and other people, um, you know, maybe make the, uh, uh, the whole society a little bit more empathetic and human at times.